What's up everybody, I'm Avatar and welcome back to Monolith. We had a bit of a mumbly explanation last time for the episode, so this time let's just jump right in and see where we can go with it. Hopefully get a little bit further, maybe be a bit wiser, a little less dumb damage, that sort of thing. Stay away from these weird ghosty skull dudes. Oh, straight into the shop. Well, I don't have any money, so what have we got? Bombs, HP, max HP. Cool. No props. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oof. Whoa. Concentration. Ooh, a sparkly block. Now, I do believe... Yep, there we go. Gave me some cash. There's another one over here. More cash? There, cool. One thing I didn't talk much about in the last episode was just the overall design of the game. Like, I'm not usually a fan of pixel art and you know retro inspired stuff because it's usually a bit naff and you know just kind of lackluster and it's often an excuse for just crap. <laughs> But, I like it when it's done well, you know, like in a Shovel Knight kind of scenario, or in this game. <laughs> you, I, don't know, I don't know what the difference is, if it's called just pixel art, or like 8-bit, or 16, or... I'm not too familiar with those sorts of terms, because I don't really care about them. But, um... Yeah. I like it. I like the theme, how there's like these different types of enemies, like some of them are kind of robotic and some of them are like some kind of weird culty construct and some of them are like ghostly and demonic and stuff enemies take longer to activate auto bomb let's do the activate basically means that when i enter a room they'll they won't start coming for me straight away this enemy i think is a good idea he kind of grabs onto everyone and sends them round and round in a circle but that's all he does i think maybe it makes them more powerful, or... I don't know. It's kind of hard to see. <laughs> I'm still learning a lot of this stuff anyway. But yeah, I really like the design, as in... It's got a dark kind of... Oh, there you go! Easy now, Nimbus. This Nimbus is probably the easiest one, but I still managed to get damaged by it. So it just follows a predictable pattern. Oh, damn. Oh, I've got my health back. Yeah, it's just, it's cool, it's unique, it's interesting, it's kind of up my alley because I like all that kind of stuff, like occulty, H.R. Geiger, demonic -y, cthulhu -y, whatever you want to call it, stuff. <laughs> so yeah, I appreciate the art style, which is surprising to me because I didn't think I would thinking of it as a pixel art game. Let's see what this boss has got for us. Oh, it's Forgotten Ringleader again. I do believe we did him before. Or her. I guess there's no real gender designation on any of these characters or bosses. Oh, I should have got my upgraded weapon as well. I'm being a dingus. So not a lot's changed. <laughs> At least I can say I'm consistent. Consistently a numpty. Oh, wait. Oh. This would have been much easier. I haven't even seen this phase before because I usually kill him by now. Which I guess is a result of having a better weapon. But hey, there we go. Let's get that. Health isn't too bad either. It's not brilliant, but I'd rather have full health. Ooh, we got a key as well. How? Oh. Probably good I didn't take that before the boss, because I would have been way more disappointed. But I guess it's that or a weapon. This would better have something good in it. Increased max HP. And enemies. There's not usually enemies in here, are there? Either way. Yeah, that was a little bit surprising. 
Do I need anything here? Oh, I could go up to 11 HP. For how much? A thousand. That's actually reasonable. And I've got four. Might as well. Let's do it. Yeah, it's kind of like the rogue-like slash light thing as well. You know, if you ever want to put me off a game, tell me there's procedural generation and or rogue light mechanics. Because, I mean, come on. We're, we're all smart, intelligent, good-looking people in the world, aren't we? We know how badly that goes for a lot of games. <laughs> A lot of the time saying procedural generation is a lazy way of saying I couldn't be bothered actually crafting a decent experience. So instead, I'm just going to procedurally generate something that doesn't ever fit together and is kind of disjointed and ridiculous. But thankfully this game is well done. I actually think they pulled it off without the game suffering because of it. And it's very similar to Isaac in that sense, like there's a, it's obviously a set of room templates that we're accessing and just putting in different orders, depending on some variables like where doors are and that sort of thing, I guess. And sometimes there are some rooms which are kind of a bit, eh, they're not my favourite, probably because of the combination of enemies that end up in there as well. But for the most part, they're perfectly reasonable. Hello Nimbus. I just say I like the word Nimbus anyway. I must look it up one day and see what it actually means, because it's not it's not a foreign word like I've heard it before. I just don't come across it in daily life very often. But I like it. Nimbus makes me think of um Well <laughs> makes me think of hippies. And I'll explain why. In Australia, if you're not in Australia, we have a place called Nimbin, which is on the east coast, and it's basically where all the hippies hang out, or well, that's the reputation it's got anyway. Like, Nimbin is, that's where you go if you want to sit on the beach, smoke some weed, and, you know, just chill out, <laughs> is the reputation. I have never been, but it's kind of a bit of a an in-joke for Australia that Nimbin exists, and whenever anyone's having a laugh about that, you know, hippies or people smoking weed or that sort of thing. Nimbin comes up a lot. <laughs> so when I hear Nimbus, I think of a Nimbin bus, which, go go with me here, you know, it's, it's, kind of makes sense. <laughs> it's Nimbus, so it's, it's Nimbin, and it's a bus. And what kind of buses do hippies like? Combies. <laughs> Which always tripped me out as well, because, like, I, I get back in the day, like, you like a combi because it's like a home that you can take anywhere and you can just kind of be free as the wind and all that good stuff. But these days, man, the pollution that those things put out is abominable. Is that the right way to say that? I don't know. It's not good. <laughs> And any hippies driving around in a combi these days, I'm sorry, but you're full of shit. Extra health and debris when switching weapons, increase maximum hit points, auto bombers, take that. That basically means when we lose ammo on our weapon and we get a new one, we shall get some more health back. Which, did I actually do that? No, oh, yeah. let's do that. Let's not forget this time, charge shot, revolver again. There's also a laser in here somewhere. <laughs> we just haven't seen it yet. Here we go, we got the demon again. Which this should be quite good with the revolver because these ads should go pretty quickly, like they're gone. So that's pretty good. If only I can dodge some stuff. Got plenty of health, we should be okay. Haven't had to bomb it yet to get out of it, although I have been hit a couple of times. And again, right there. And again, holy crap. Yeah, I'm, already, I'm already down to five health, but he's dead, so. Whatevs. <laughs> so yeah, Nimbus is a funny word. <laughs> it's hippies in a hippie van. 
That's what it means to me. Shit. Key. Always like a key. Oh. Max ammo. Okay, that got a bit confusing for a second. <laughs> Man, I really need to upgrade my health a bit. Or well, find some health would be good. Let's see what's in here. Eh, it's all ammo. Well, that's okay. Ammo's good, means we can stick with our powerful weapon a bit more. This room layout I remember seeing a fair bit. So I do wonder how much variety there is to this game when it comes to the roguelike kind of stuff and how much repetition there'll be after many, many hours of play. So I've played it now for, I think, about three hours or so. Oh, I do want that. Let's do it. Nope. So I just spent the amount, but I didn't get the item. Let's do it again. I've got money to burn. There we go. Now I got it. And I don't want that. So that's how that room works. It's a gambling room. The teleport on the map is just so useful. Makes life so much easier. Yeah, I forget what I was talking about now. But <laughs> I'm sure it was nothing that important. God damn it. These guys are probably the weirdest ones that I've met so far. Like, I don't really understand what they are. I mean, I'm not saying I understand what all the others are as well, but... Most of them are just kind of abstract enemies that I understand what they do. Teleport, electricity, autobomb, teleport it is. Oop, dude in the corner. I don't think we'll get too far past everything this round. So for five, six, I can get three. Four, six, I can get two. One, two. Uh, let's get three health. It's only going to help. Might as well spend the money. No point hanging on to it while we've got it. Just got to try and concentrate a little bit harder. Oop, Nimbus. Teleporty Nimbus. Guess you don't like it if I hide from you, hey? That's one down. Where's the other one? It must be over here. Take that. Yeah, you gotta love the soundtrack for this game. Laser! Homing laser! And in threes. Crossbeam. I don't like the crossbeam. Consecrated, which is one of the unlocks that I did, which gives you 35% damage to ghosts. Oops. Bit of button by mistake. I'm going to take the homing triple laser. Because why not? Let's see what that does. The laser's pretty good. Oh, those bloody fish. I always forget about them. So yeah, the laser's pretty strong, it seems. I'm not really sure how much damage it does, obviously, but... Especially with homing, it's one of those ones that... You can't really go wrong with. And I enjoy it for the more bullet helly rooms, because it means... Basically, I can focus on dodging instead of aiming. Because aiming is not my strong suit in these sorts of games. Ooh, shit. Neither's dodging, but... Definitely not aiming. <laughs> hey, whoa, 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 way too much damage. Pay attention here. I've only fought this guy once before. Thankfully I've got lots of bombs. And he seems to be going down at a fair rate. Oh, he's gone. Oh, <laughs> fantastic. Let's gobble up all that good stuff. 
Now, is there anything interesting that we could... No, we don't want that. And we don't want those, not for those prices, although I am on three health. Do I risk it? Yeah, let's risk it. Let's see what happens in the next... I've already been there. Okay. Let's go. Floor 4. I think this is the furthest we've got on video so far, but this is probably only like the second video. I can't remember. I don't remember these things. I can't be held responsible for my own stuff. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> I probably should have bought that health because it's only going to get more expensive, isn't it? I'm just going to have to hope things drop. Well, I know I've got money, but I'd kind of like to save it a little bit. I'm not really sure what for, but... <laughs> Maybe something really cool will come up and I'll have to spend all my hard-earned cash. Thankfully this uh, laser seems to be doing us pretty well. I reckon it's purely because it's homing, so it means I don't have to aim. <laughs> so it means most of my shots are actually hitting. Okay, do we want to trade HP for any of this stuff? We could... Uh, I don't want to trade a max just for one. Recovers all ammo. Hmm. That would give us 31 ammo and we've got 70 left. So I don't think it's that good a value proposition. Boom. 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 <laughs> That's good. I like shooting through the... Through the portal. Oh, Nimbus. Whoa. Dude. Chill out now. Settle down. He went down quick, but boy was he feisty. Those guys always trick me. Thinking I can shoot them. But I can't. Do I have a teleport? I guess I do, hey. Yeah, this laser's doing it's doing good work for us at the moment. Oh, those blocks will kill you. Hey, whoa, easy, easy now. Settle down. What do we got? What you got for me? Cheaper shop, extra bomb, increased maximum hit points. Ooh, a cheap shop. So I mean, like, do I care about any of the rest of that stuff? Not really. Those orange ghosts as well, by the way, they'll just go to where the X's are on the level, on the in the room and explode. So you can pretty much ignore them. If you so desire. I will go look at that weapon later. Oh, what's this guy? Now I remember, I have seen him before. In my own playthrough. Down to two health. Come on guys, we can do this. Come on little ship. Oh, that's cool how the blocks just crush the enemy. What a nice idea. One more Nimbus. We're missing a Nimbus. Are you here Nimbus? Nope, it's just one of these guys. Assholes. Another one. Hello. It's randomization for you. Can repeat itself. Repetition is random and we d died to that guy. This at enemy type kills me basically every time I see it. My god. Soul Extractor. I have been extracted. <sighs> Get used to it, because this is what it's going to be. I basically, I want to uh, play this and, and share it and have some fun with it until I can finish it, which might take a while. This little robot guy shows up every now and then as well. Let's see what he's got to say. Nice place. Thanks, man. Bzz, bzz. What have you got to say for yourself? Let's have some gossip. No shame getting stuck on the first floor. View it as an opportunity to learn the ropes in a relatively more friendly environment. Thanks, Catman. <laughs> you ran into a soul extractor. It's only one piece of advice. Take cover and pray. Yes, I've heard that before. Life's not the worst in the upper levels. I mean, still scraping the bottom of the barrel there, but... 
Whatever, dude. Have I got enough to buy? Oh, I do. These sorts of upgrades, I'm, I'm, I don't really have a preference because they just add more variables to the actual game. So I'll probably just work my way through them and as we can afford them, we'll buy them. So this one is a modifier for mechanical foes. This one's for spell casters. I guess are those dudes in the robes flying around, so that might be helpful. Harm to constructs. Yeah, bombs, I don't really care. The sword is an interesting proposition, but that's 75,000. Melee weapon, always interesting. But let's just grab the spellcaster modifier. So that's the thing, you don't even get it anyway. You have to find a weapon that happens to have it, so... Whatever, Trevor. This is a nice little hub to hang out in. <sighs> but I think I think that's where I'm going to leave it. So <laughs> hopefully we'll get a bit further next time. We're, we're improving, improving. So you know, can't complain. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.